what's up uh, it's your girl Ashere. if you are new to our channel welcome if you are not new thank you for watching again if you are watching and you have not subscribed please make sure you hit that subscribe button um before the video even gets started and make sure you click that notification bell so that you will not miss another video all right so i decided that i was going to try something new um I decided that I was going to um, try reviews and see, uh, you know, how you guys responded to it, if you liked it, if I should do more, or if I should not do any more. Like, I want you guys' this honest opinion, okay? So, what I'm going to do a review on is um, a show called Growing Up Hip Hop, and it's the Atlanta version. And I'm not going to do episode one because, um, I'm not going to do episode one because I just decided to review this last night while I was watching it. So I'm just going to do episode two. But basically, basically in, um, basically in episode one, they just reintroduced us to all the characters on the show since it's supposed to be reality. Um... And they told us, like, basically catching up with everyone from season one and how everyone was doing and things like that. So, we pick, we're we going to pick up from episode two. And um, it's season two, episode two, and it's called, the title of the episode is called Secrets in the A. So, basically, the, this episode picks off where the other episode left, the well, episode one left off, where um, Brandon and Regine are sitting down with their mothers at dinner and basically what happened last season was that Red Brendan and Regine had gotten into this big argument and it like dragged throughout the whole season and then parents got involved and family members got involved and basically it was just a whole big mess like it was it was horrible and so people started threatening other people and, and all that stuff. So basically what happened, their moms got them together for them to kind of squash their beef or whatever. And so um, Brandon apologized to Regine, which I think he should have because he was the oldest and he should have known better anyway. Because she, she, even though she had just turned 18, she was still a kid and she still is a kid. Um... So, based, so yeah, so, and then Regine's like, um, I don't think I should apologize to him. She's not saying it out loud, but you know, they show confessions and things, and she's like, I don't think I should apologize to him. But eventually, she did apologize to him, and they squashed whatever beef they had, but I think they're going to end up having another beef. So, fast forward to, let's keep, stay on the subject of Regine. She is talking to her best friend, Zonique, and she said that she wants to... She think that they should get an apartment together. And I'm thinking like, no, no, don't do it. It's going to mess up your friendship. It's going to be horrible. Then y'all going to hate each other. Y'all not going to want to be around each other. No, just stay separate. Keep your separate apartments because like you can be close to somebody. Then when you move in with them and you really see how they are, things start to change. You might live differently. You might do things differently. Um, that's it, man. And that's basically, oh, and then Regine told her mom that she wanted to move out. And her mom wasn't too happy with it, but she said she supported her daughter, which, you know, that's all you can do is just support her. So we'll see what, what happens with that. But she did tell her, and that's what my mama, used, my mama and my grandma told me, like, once you leave the nest, it ain't no coming back. So she better make sure that that's what she want to do. Okay, so... Let's go over to um, Brandon, since we were talking about Brandon and Regine. Brandon, um, he, he, is, he decides that um, he wants to have his own label because he's tired of living in his mother's shadow. And I'm just sitting here like, no, honey, no. Like, his mom is trying to tell him. She's, she's like you you don't know how hard it's gonna be you you need to just stay stay with me for a little bit longer blah 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 blah, blah. and i just feel like he should listen to her why because she's been in this business for years she's she's done it all so instead of you trying to like move fast 
and do things on your own, you should probably listen to her and 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 do and kind of take her advice because she knows what she's doing. She's been here, done that. So you should probably listen to her. Anything else? No. Okay. So so Brandon was in the um the gym <laughs> with his cousin. He was in the gym with his cousin, um that was a hot <laughs> He was in the gym with his cousin Ayana. And like he's telling her how to exercise and I'm like, Oh, so not only is he a um a talent coach and a vocal coach, but now he's a personal trainer too. Uh, like he be, Brandon be getting all the jobs, honey. I'm like, wow. So, the transitioning from Brandy, Brandon to Ayana. <clears throat> um, Ayana is the daughter of DJ Hurricane from the Beastie Boys. And she said that that she... um. She's open and she's having a clothing line. And her clothing line is going to be called Cozy Closet. And I'm kind of here for that because she was like, you know, it's for people to be comfortable but still be cute. So you don't have to like wear these nice, these tight clothes or whatever and be real dressed up just to look cute. You could be comfortable and be cute. So I'm kind of here for that. I think I want to see where she goes with that. Um... <clears throat> What I'm what what annoyed me with her is her girlfriend because a um Ayana her girlfriend's name is Amy Ayana is she's heavy top like I am so in the in the way I kind of sympathize with her she wants to have a breast reduction and I can understand why she wants to have a breast re excuse me a breast reduction because I have the same issue. She has back problems, you know, she has neck problems, shoulders. Like, the, it's not easy be, having a smaller frame and then bigger breasts. It, your weight is not proportioned. Um, even if you lose weight, your breasts are still big. And that's what she was trying to explain to her girlfriend. But her girlfriend wasn't here for it. And she just was being an ass. And she was telling her that she didn't want her to have the surgery. She shouldn't have the surgery. There was nothing anyone could tell her. Not even a doctor could convince her of anything else. And basically what Ayana did was she basically just left her sitting at the table and walked off and was like, F you. Which I was like, yes, girl. Yes. That's what you do to people like that. Because if she was really there for her and if she was truly her girlfriend, then she would support her in whatever decision that she made even if you didn't like it you you still support them because it's not about it wasn't about amy it was about um ayana it was never about amy um last thing i want to talk about is shania shania and bow wow and shania is jd's daughter and shania is, is she's also trying to come out with a clothing line so We'll see how that goes. Yeah, for kids. For huh? kids. Yeah, this clothing line is for kids. Um, Anaya's clothing line is for adults. But Shania's clothing line is for um, kids. And her, I guess her storyline this season is her secret boyfriend that she's had over, all over social media. But for some reason, her dad doesn't know about him, which I think is weird. Like, how can you have, does your dad not follow you on social media? Nobody ever said, hey, I saw your daughter with this person on social media. Like, how did she hide him for a year and a half? It, to me, it's just not possible. So basically, Bow Wow's like, oh, I need to meet him. Um, he's questioning her about having they ever kissed. Like, like, he's playing the big brother role, which I understand because you know, JD basically raised him. So I can understand why he he's um, being a bigger brother. So let's let's go to JD and Bow Wow and their beef. So Bow Wow basically came out in the first episode and said that he went on tour with JD and never got paid. Now he's like, now he doesn't even want to do anything with JD. He doesn't want to want JD to produce his music. He feel like he could do everything on his own because he feel like JD played him. And even after the tour, he pushed him off to a producer. And then he and then JD went to work with somebody else instead of working with Bow Wow. So basically, he and his feelings, pretty much. 
And I'm just like, dude, get out your feelings. People have other priorities. People have other things to do. Now, I understand the thing about getting paid. And I feel like it's more to the story. More is going to come out of that story. So, I don't know. Um, but even if you felt that way, he still put you with a producer. Obviously, he trusted that producer to work with you if he put if he put you two together. So I don't see what the issue is. Why he's so mad? Like he don't need, he doesn't even want to play want to play the music for them. All of his albums have usually had like JD's approval. He's like, no, I'm not playing the music. I don't even want his approval. And he's just like just been just to me a brat. Now don't get me wrong. I love Bow Wow. I mean, I grew up Bow Wow. Like we around the same age. So I know, like I know his his song, everything, whatever. But it's just like some things you just don't do. If you have a beef with a person, you don't avoid them. You go talk it out with them and let your beef be known or let your problems be known so y'all can try to work it out like adults and not running around and avoiding each other. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that's it. I think yeah, that's that's pretty much it. All I wanted to cover. Oh, and um Johnny Blaze. I, I was I was here for her song that she sung at her little listening party. Um I remember her from what was it? She was in I know she was in Love and Hip Hop. Which one was she on? Oh. Do you remember? Oh. The girl Johnny Blaze. Well, anyway, she was on love. She was on one of the love and hip hops. I don't remember which one. There's so many of them, but now it seems like she's toned down a little bit. So I'm just waiting to see what good things come from her. So yeah, guys, that's about it that I have to say about that episode. You let me know um, what you think about it. Should I keep doing the reviews or should I try something else? Like I'm open for suggestions. So let me know. Or if you know any other show that you want me to review, like I'll watch it and I'll review it if you just let me know. Like, so comment down below. Again, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Also, um, like this video and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.